Hello everyone with uh, this is to help uh, how how can you do video with your simple cheap cell phone uh, in, in these times of a community uh, quarantine something because uh, the Lord has helped us uh, in a few weeks to record videos with a nice camera that camera which God has blessed us with in a few weeks and uh, God has let us record hundreds of sermons by God's grace I praise the Lord but these times the rules are more strict and uh, these are to preempt the virus spread which is good also so there's an opportunity and a challenge and opportunity for every occasion now I just want to I, I also got tired of recording and waiting for people to record so uh, maybe it's better that I teach people how to record with their cell phone because uh, most cell phones that you have are actually better than the cell phone I'm using my cell phone is a no brand cell phone a less known brand doogie which always crashes and hangs so basically if you want to record clear audio with your cell phone you have to be as near as possible but not nearer than two or one centimeter from the microphone if I, this is just a cell phone you know i was holding it this way as you see okay we will start with audio first i'll teach you how to make nice audio as much as possible and nice video as much as possible with simple cell phone as i have observed other people do okay with audio Actually, audio is more important than video. So, I'm in my room, as you see, all this uh, equipment. Uh, you try to close the door because you don't want the door to bang on you when you're speaking. And you try, I'm like uh, maybe seven inches from the cell phone. The nearer your I assume the microphone of the cell phone is here. I don't know if you hear it. It's probably here because when you call, that's how you use it. So the mic is probably here and try to make your voice stronger, like speaking voice or pitching voice. Cell phone has have very good microphones and very good echo cancellation, etc. etc. Uh, you might not be able to do live if your internet connection is not really that reliable so just uh, anyway people are not going to also view live because their internet is also not reliable so it's uh, to reduce the frustration you have to lower your standards just don't do live you upload to youtube upload to facebook let people download it before they use it they view it and uh, upload to multiple platforms so Basically, try to be as near as possible to your mic. You might be hearing some sounds outside. Children are playing, but they are like 10 meters away. And I'm like 6 inches or 10 inches away from the mic. So 10 meters versus six inch, uh, 10 inches away from this microphone, cell phone, cell phone microphone. You see the ratio? the noise outside versus my voice the ratio is big if i put my cell phone five meters away from me and the children playing are also five meters away from the cell phone guess what the volume of my sound and the volume of the kids playing will be the same so they can overpower me but if i put my voice near the microphone six inches ten inches and the noise outside the house it's like 10 meters away or 5 meters away. When there is noise, I can overpower the, the voice outside. So that's uh, basically. If you're in a room that is small enough, you will not have a problem with echo. The problem with echo is your voice goes all directions. Not only from your mouth going here. It goes all directions. And the, you know, uh, sound travels slower than light. As you observe the lightning, if it's like one kilometer or one mile away, you hear, you see the lightning after one second or more, depending on the temperature of the air, you, and then you hear the sound. It means it takes more time for sound to travel. If you're in a small room, 
when you speak the bound your voice sounds bounces all around the room and then it goes back and tries to bounce until it uh, runs out of energy bouncing around <clears throat> if you're in a room that's bigger like in a classroom or in a gymnasium it take your voice goes takes long time to read to hit the walls and the floors and the roof and the ceiling and then it bounces back and it all comes back somehow to the microphone and then it's very easy hard to understand if you have tried to stand inside a gymnasium and you talk to of you even if you both shout and there's nobody else there it's very hard to understand each other unless you are really close to each other that's because of the reverb or the echo or the bouncing if you're in an open field it doesn't bounce anywhere so there's no echo there's no feedback in an open field like if you go under the trees or in the soccer field or in the jungle on the other hand if you're in a gym full of people you also don't get echo because it is absorbed by the clothing by the hair of the people by the soft bodies etc so the the more absorption but that only happens you need only that uh, basically you have to find a place where there's no reverb and echo if you're in a classroom that's a little bit hard because the distance of the echo is like almost yeah the echoes can overpower your direct voice as much as possible get the direct the microphone should be getting only the direct sound from your mouth not the bounce in the sound that bounce off the walls so sometimes that can help acquire a violin it makes it sound nice because of the reverb but if you want clarity of voice over the noise then you have to manage the ratio of the voice versus the noise or the sound to noise ratio snr sound noise ratio <clears throat> so that's the principle if you are too near the mic like this you get clipping and so on and uh, but uh, i think this uh, most cell phones have auto gain control and they adjust the gain of the microphone if you are too near or too far that can be an advantage so you don't actually have to adjust the volume of your cell phone but if you're too far and you try to speak because you want to show your big television and you want to speak uh can you understand me this far or do you like my voice when i'm this near the advantage is you can hear my voice clearer if i'm this far i have to talk uh, it's not it's not that easy as easy to understand right so that's the principle try to be as near as possible if you want to show something like uh, let me open uh, the powerpoint most people will have some kind of powerpoint presentation okay let me look for my favorite sermon here uh, okay okay Another thing is lighting. I will show you the PowerPoint later. Okay, maybe I should show the PowerPoint later. Let me try to present this. Let's pretend I'm preaching. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope the screen is not inverted. We are going to speak today about time setting. Time setting time setters in Ellen G. White writings because these days many people say Jesus is coming in uh, and then they say a date or a year let's just pretend I'm going to preach that uh, sermon <clears throat> it's nice to show yourself when you're explaining and it's nice to also show the screen actually when you're trying to point on something don't be shy to do this unprofessionally the, the point is the message Never mind the big camera and the tripod and the lights and the equipment. If you can do it, if you can get the message nicely, don't be afraid to point on your laptop. And they require a video switcher, a very expensive video switcher. This one can do. Don't worry, there is no video switcher, there is no camera in the Bible. <laughs> so the next thing is, uh, so I can actually just preach with this. Maybe I will try to preach about this one and uh, see what uh, 
so that people will be encouraged uh, to try what, what we do, whatever equipment they have, even if it's just a cell phone. And the nice thing is, it will be it will multiply the productions actually. The other thing I want to talk about is light. <clears throat> this is my room, and the light is from behind. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. If I have my video like this, <laughs> you will laugh at me because I cannot be seen, right? Why? Because the light is coming from my back. How am I? How, how are you supposed to see me? You, the the cell phone will adjust to balance the brightness and the darkness and the set the gain and iris whatever to the middle. They will just guess. So the computation will look like this, <laughs> unless I cover my back too much. So it's better you face the light like this. Do you like this better? At least you can see my face, my hair, my wrinkles. So <laughs> if I'm sideways, then that's the effect. Okay, so it's better to face the light. And then the the PowerPoint presentation, you you know you can actually make it too bright. Let me try to adjust it. Screen. What if your PowerPoint is too bright? Can you still see me? <laughs> can you still see me? I don't think you can still see me. It's too bright. You can adjust the laptop screen. Adjust it so that they can see your presentation and they can also see you. So in Windows, you can adjust your screen like this. I just found, I just type search screen brightness, and then you can actually adjust it. So if your screen is too dark and you are too bright, they cannot see your presentation. If your screen is too bright and you are beside it, they might not be able to see you. So the, the camera is automatically trying to adjust. You can adjust it depending on the colors you use in your presentation and depending on how much you want to see yourself yourself. <coughs> you can adjust the the no. Okay, do you understand? <clears throat> okay, so basically the most important thing is to pray. I observe that the people who have prayed a lot have more views. The people who when I preach also when I pray if I'm going to preach 30 minutes and I pray one hour before I preach, it looks like there's more views. And if more people help me in the production who are also praying, there are also more views. If the topic is relevant or not relevant, because relevant is relative to the people. Irrelevant or needed by the audience, then there are more views. Uh, those people who are good in who have done lots of visitation they have visitation bible study they have more views so uh, that's my observation in media ministry helping many other people so just to summarize the technical side <clears throat> we cannot uh, make a perfect video production immediately it's about growing you know trying and trying and the building the audience, building the subscriptions, etc., and the reputation. Uh, I would encourage. So basically, technical, technically, number one concern is sound. It is more important than the video because people can watch you and not hear you and not understand anything. But if people uh, hear you clearly, even if they don't see what you're saying, what you're presenting, they can get something. And the lighting, and don't be shy to have low tech uh, presentation. It's okay. Who who cares? <laughs> it's not for televisions uh, something. Okay, so that's all, uh, friends. I hope everybody will try to preach with their with the equipment they have. There is no end to acquiring expensive equipment, my friends. So don't wait for expensive equipment for high quality gear use what you have use what you have whatever you have use it and if people 
if the donors see that you are doing good, they will help you. Okay, if I see that you are here, have nice sermon, I will lend you equipment. Okay, I will teach you uh, how to improve. Okay, just let us be faithful to the message. Let us not preach anything that is not in the Bible and the spirit of prophecy because somebody else will find out we are wrong later if we do that. Isaiah 8.20 says, To the Lord and to the testimony, if they speak not according to the word. We have to be sure that what we are trying to preach is actually literally in the Bible and in the spirit of prophecy. That is our safety. According to the book Great Controversy, Scripture is our safeguard. If it's not there, don't, I don't know, don't waste time trying to push what is not there. There are 33,000 verses in the Bible. Ellen G. White writings have 250,000 uh, paragraphs and uh, 4 million words. I think there are so many things there that we are sure God wants us to propagate. Uh, let us stay focused on the messages from reliable sources. God bless you and God give you wisdom and understanding in doing your work, in doing His work here on earth. And uh, share, share to me also your, what, what you're trying to record. God bless my friends. Bye-bye.